I'm the programmer of my first robotics team, and I've also completed an internship at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Most importantly though, I'm a maker. Over this past year I've been working on my most comprehensive project, a homemade quadcopter. This frame is 3D printed in PLA, but what makes this drone so unique is it's literally one of a kind flight controller. It's an Arduino Nano that I programmed from scratch. Instead of buying a standard flight controller, I wanted to be able to fly my own code, not somebody else's. In order to fly, this Arduino will monitor data from the 6-axis gyro accelerometer. It puts the data through a 2-layer feedback loop to calculate what speeds to set each motor and sends PPM signals into the speed controller which powers and controls these motors. Instead of using a conventional but expensive RC transmitter, I created my own system which uses transceivers to relay data between the clock cover and the laptop. The laptop runs a driver station program I made using Java and connects to an Xbox controller, which controls the quad. The communication protocol I made lets me send messages to the driver station and read IMU data and current motor speed. I can also PID tune the quad without re-uploading any code. Tuning the PID loops has been exhausting and time consuming. I used a string setup for one axis tuning, and then I moved on to more tuning in test flights. Crashing was normal, and I implemented a wash off timer after finding some safety issues. I was also able to improve the control loop by optimizing communication and ESC signals. Progress was slow, but eventually things worked out. I had no idea how difficult this project would be, especially because I had never actually seen a quadcopter in real life before making my own. Every project excites me, and I hope to bring this passion to MIT. Thank you for watching.